Hey everybody, welcome back to Living Traditions Homestead. My name is Kevin. Well today I'm going to show you a recipe that Sarah and I eat probably five days a week. This is the breakfast that we have most mornings here on the homestead. To be honest, we're creatures of habit and it's probably this or oatmeal every single day. Pretty much year round. So today I'm going to teach you this recipe because it's something that you can make quick and easy and there's lots of variations that you can make with this recipe so let's get started now most days I make breakfast here on the homestead and that's simply because when we're out doing our morning chores I normally get done with my chores first because Sarah has to milk the goats maybe that'll change once we get the cow but we'll see but for now I'm usually back in the house first after morning chores which means I take care of making breakfast maybe that's why we have the same thing every day so what we're going to be making today is what I like to call the new and improved oatmeal pancake. I did a video for you guys uh, about a year, maybe a year and a half ago uh, with a similar recipe, but I've made some improvements now that I've made it literally hundreds of times and I think it's way better the new way. So let's get started. The first thing that we're going to need is a blender. Now it can be uh, like we use one of these personal blenders. I think these are like $9 at Walmart. They're super inexpensive. This is the easiest thing to use because you can just put all the ingredients in. But if you just have a regular blender or even a food processor, that will work just fine as well. So the first ingredient that we're going to use are oats. Now on our homestead we use organic oats that we buy in bulk from Azure Standard. If you're not familiar with that company, they allow you to buy in bulk and they deliver all over the country and you just pick up at a certain spot near your town and you can get really good prices on organic food. We'll leave a link in the description if you guys are interested in learning more but especially for people who are rural like us where there's not a lot of health food stores around and maybe the ones that are are overpriced this is a way to buy bulk items and you know organic items at a reasonable price. So we're going to start with one cup of oats. I like to use Sarah's canning funnels for this. So, so we're going to put one cup of oats into the blender. So the next thing that we're going to add is eggs. Now today I'm using chicken eggs. A lot of times I will use duck eggs. For this recipe, if you're using chicken eggs, you can use three chicken eggs. For duck eggs, I only use uh, two, uh, but sometimes I use quail eggs because that's what we have available, and it'll actually be nine to 12 quail eggs. So uh, go ahead and use whatever kind of eggs you have available, uh, but today we're using chicken, and I'll use three of them. So I'll just crack the eggs and put them right on top of the oats. Now I didn't mention as well that we use rolled oats. Uh, if you have quick oats, uh, that's fine. You can use those as well. So we're going to grind them up so it doesn't really matter. You can always tell a homegrown egg. They look so beautiful. Alright, so we're going to put our eggs in. Now the next thing that we're going to use is milk. Uh, today I'm using raw goat milk because that's what we produce here on the homestead. If you have store-bought milk, that's fine. And there's not really a set amount. I just kind of guess. Just kind of one little pour. It's probably a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half. Just about like that. And then the final thing that I'm going to add today uh, that's really optional, but if you have it, it's a good addition, is some uh, flaxseed meal. We're just going to add a tablespoon of that. And that just adds some really good omega-3s to the uh, mix here. So that's it. We're going to put our lid on. And then what I like to do is just shake it a little bit. And then we'll take it over to the blender and we'll blend this up. Alright, so now that that is done blending, uh, we're just going to set it off to the side. 
I think it's better if you let it sit for a little while. Uh, what I basically do is let it sit just while my pan is heating up. Uh, today I'm going to be using uh, one of my favorite cast iron skillets. Uh, if you don't have cast iron, that's okay. Uh, we won't hold it against you, but you should really get some because it's great stuff. So we're also going to be using sunflower oil. Now we get asked a lot why we use sunflower oil on the homestead. Uh, we use uh, home rendered lard for a lot of our cooking, but for things where we don't want that added taste, uh, our go-to thing is sunflower oil. Uh, mostly because it's fairly inexpensive, uh, it's non-GMO, and it doesn't add a lot of taste to your food. So those are the reasons that we use it, um, and really, it's really one of my favorite oils to use. So we're going to turn our skillet on medium heat. We're going to add our sunflower oil and let that heat up. All right, so our pan is heated up. We're going to uncover our mixture here. And then I like to just take a, a wooden spoon and mix it up a little bit. It should be a fairly thick consistency, but yet runny enough that when you pour it in the pan, it spreads out. After you make two or three hundred of them, you'll get it down pat too. All right, so we're going to pour it into our pan. And then I just like to use the spoon to help spread it out the rest of the way. We're just going to let that cook in the pan kind of just like you would a regular pancake. When you see it start to look a little dry around the sides and on top, uh, then it's time to flip it. All right, so you can see it's starting to look a little dry around the edges. I like to use the longest spatula that I have here. So I've got about a 75% success rate here. Let's try. Hey, look at that. And look how beautiful that looks. All right, so now we're just gonna let this cook on this side for a minute or two, not too long, and then we'll put it on a plate. Now, if you don't wanna just make this into one big pancake, you don't have to. If you wanna make you know little ones, if you have kids or you're having company, that's fine. I just make one big one because Sarah and I just cut it in half and split it. So we're gonna let this cook for just a few more seconds and then it'll be ready to plate it up. All right, I think it's ready. Take it off, looks great. All right, so now I'm going to cut this in half so Sarah and I can share it. Today I'm going to be having it with some of Sarah's homemade mixed berry jam. Uh, if you didn't see the video she did about making this, she did this just a couple months ago. We'll leave a link to it. This is a mix of our wild blackberries that we have on our property and our wild black raspberries. Awesome jam. Conveniently, there's always one half that's just a little bit bigger than the other, but don't tell Sarah. Now one thing I didn't mention either is that these are extremely filling because they're so packed with protein from having the three eggs and the oats. Um, half of one of these is plenty uh, for breakfast. They go, they go a long way, and they kind of stick with you good until lunchtime, so you're not feeling hungry halfway through the morning. Now, if you don't have jam, or you don't like jelly, or you're on you know, a lower sugar diet, uh, another thing that Sarah and I really like to have on these is uh, peanut butter, or peanut butter and honey is really good. Uh, sometimes there's some butter with some cinnamon and sugar, there's just an endless amount of possibilities of what you could put on. Uh, let me know how you get creative with it. So there you have it. Breakfast is ready for Sarah and I. Again, this is what we have almost every day here on the homestead. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you spent enjoyed spending some time with me in the kitchen today. If you're new to our channel, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. If you know someone who would enjoy this, 
Go ahead and share this on all of your social media. I hope you'll give this a try. It's a great recipe. And until next time, thanks so much for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless.